Now let's look at measuring tilt. And we're gonna look at it in an analog way, but actually almost in a digital way. We're gonna use this ball tilt sensor. And the reason it's called a ball tilt sensor is there's a little steel bearing in there. I don't know if you can hear it. And what happens is when that ball is on the bottom of this canister, it makes contact to the two wires here. When it's on the top, it doesn't. So you wire it just like a button or almost like a vibration sensor. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to use this female to male wire setup that I have. And now I have the tilt sensor with two male ends. And I'll pick rows five and one. And row one, I will connect to digital pin two. And the other one I will connect to ground. And just like a button, we're gonna use a 10K resistor on the wire connected to digital pin two. And we're gonna connect that to five volt. And again, the reason we do that is so that there's not a pin just sitting there. When this pin is not connected, when the ball is down, it will go through the resistor and connect to five volts. If it's up, the ball is connecting, it'll go through and connect to ground. And that's how we're gonna test it. So let's open up the Arduino code. And we'll go into examples digital debounce. Remember, debouncing stops that on off contact switch from reading too many times so it doesn't know whether it was pressed or not. And that'll be really helpful with this ball tilt. And we'll just double check everything here. Yep, we have an LED attached to 13 or the built in LED. I can even just pop an LED in there real quick. And I've got pin two to five volts and pin two to a 10K resistor to ground. Perfect. And it's just the standard button debounce. So let's plug in the Arduino. Let's make sure we are on the right board. We are. And let's upload it. It's already done uploading. You can see as I tilt it back and forth, it registers whether it tilted or not. So if you have a project where you need to know a specific orientation or keep in mind, you could mount this at, at an angle and you could tell 15 degrees or 20 degrees, depending on how this is mounted, as opposed to just up and down. You know, there's lots of practical uses for this. I saw one online that I really liked was a box that to open it up, you had to flip it over and it actuated a switch based on which way the box was oriented. So you can have a lot of fun with these and they're very affordable.